Hi, today we're going to make LED candle cozies. It's a way to use jewelry and beads and lace and decorate a candle that suits your decor. Today we're going to make this one. Join us. Hi, this is Tweek. Today's episode started with me putting away Christmas decorations. I have a lot of candles that I like, LED candles, and a lot of them looked like this. Pretty, sparkly, turn them on and off. And I was reluctant to put them away, but they don't really match the decor or the way I was using them in our set. So I got an idea. I'm going to make a cozy to go over this candle. And a cozy is just fabric that you put around the candle to cover up what's there and add a new surface for decoration. So here's what I did. Firstly, I went through my supplies and here's what you'll need for this project. You'll need felt, any kind of felt, any color, whatever you fancy. And I've gathered up ribbons and elastics, old jewelry, old earrings, uh, necklaces, headbands, buttons, anything that will help you come up with a design that you like. So here we go. First thing we need to do is find the candle you wish to cozy. And I'm going to choose this big one. Now, my fabric that I had for a small cozy, I was using half of a sheet of felt, which only covers up half of this candle. That might be a look you'd like. I'm going for something a little bigger. So I went to a full sheet of felt. I need to measure piece of felt I've got is 12 by 9. 9 by 12 piece. You get it at your local craft store. And I like the way it came around this candle with left, left just a little bit at the top. So once I've got the piece of felt that I'd like to use, now I'm going to embellish it and then we'll add it to the candle. To embellish, I'm going to use some lace that I had kicking around. And I'm going to use, I'm going to use an old headband that I found. I like the colors and it's big enough to go around the size candle. So here's what we're going to do. I'm going to measure some lace. I've got a little bit of a pattern going with some of the other ones that I made. And what I did on these was using elastic and lace, I created a pattern that I like. I'm going to duplicate that here on this bigger one. So I measure using the full length of the piece of fabric. And I'm going to cut two pieces. Okay, I've got my felt, I've got my lace. Now I need to decide what color really up to this moment. I thought I wanted a certain color to go underneath the headband beads. I'm thinking they don't need one, but let's try, I was going to add a blue. This is a stretchy elastic ribbon, just really has a nice sheen to it. And I liked the way it matched up. So I'm measuring this first, the piece of ribbon or elastic, I'm using elastic. I'm just going to rough measure and look, eyeball it, I'm going to go about halfway down the piece of felt and then I'm going to glue it down. I've got so many beautiful spring candles now. And what's nice about a cozy is once spring is done, I can head right into summer, just make a new cozy and catch this way straight down. Just eyeballing it, everything's good. I'm going to take the lace and I'm just going to edge it up next to the elastic. And there we go with another line of glue. I had so much fun going through old jewelry and buttons and coming up with some of the designs that you'll see. The yellow one that has a big flower on it, that is a big pin. A jewelry pin that I took apart and added to that cozy. So pretty. We'll cut off any excess that we need to. Here's the fun part. You could add any kind of 
decoration you want there. But when I found this old headband and some of the beads were falling off and I glued them back on, I thought, okay, that is nice. This is beads on felt with the elastic strands. I'm just gonna pull right off. And now I've got this to place. See the light blue just peeks through. I think that's so pretty. So here again, I'm just gonna eyeball it to there to there. It looks like a very nice fit and I'm just gonna glue it down. How far did I go? Okay. And I come to the end with the glue. Let me see how far do I wanna go. All right, that's affixed. It's gonna stay. Get an idea of how it's gonna look. Now I'm gonna simply just cut off the little edges here just to even up the the felt side. Even it up with the felt. There we go. And on this side, I guess it would be an easier way to do it this side, huh? <laughs> okay, we've got it evened up. Now pull in our candle and see where we're in the process. Okay, that's looking really pretty, isn't it? What I want to do now is affix some more of the same color of elastic on the back so that I can pull it on and off. I can get the cozy off the candle. So let's do that. I'm taking the same color and I'm going to put it into three strips. This is a tall candle. I think three strips are enough. And all I want is a little bit of elastic to hold the sides together so I can put it on and off the candle. So I'm just giving it an eyeball. Cutting. I want three of the same, if I can, three of the same length. Okay, done with the elastic. Now I want the shiny side in this fabric out and I'm going to affix it halfway through. You can tell where the middle line is there. And then half inch or so up from the bottom. I use my finger as a measure <laughs> and that works out. So I'm gonna fix each one of these with some glue. Just make sure it's straight and I'm gonna make sure however I put it on there, I'm gonna use the same width. And then another one down here. Okay, good. So I've got it on one side. I'm gonna bring back the candle and to see how much of a gap I need on the back. So let me show you. See how it's just hanging there. That's probably a better way to do it. This is the biggest candle I've done so far. But I want it to be snug, but not so snug that I can't easily pull it off the candle and I want to swap this out for a different look. So I'm going to come in here and measure and put some glue and pull it up, okay? And that's stretchy elastic, so I like about that. So it will give when I go to pull it off. So I'm pulling this up and I'm going to attach so that line goes straight across the back. You got one. Now let's go for the next one. Okay, pull that straight. Okay. Apply some glue. So you're not attaching it to, you can see I haven't got it on the candle. I'm just affixing the fabric to the elastic. I think it looks pretty good. And what have we got? That's pretty. So look at that, the cozy comes on and off very easily. That's good. And I'm looking at the design, I like it, but uh, I need something else. Let me think on this. So I'm looking through my stash of things here. I thought these blue beads would be really pretty. Ooh, I like that look. This is just costume beads that are on a string. So I'm gonna give it a snip. And since I've already made the cozy, I'm just gonna roll it around, starting in the back, and I'm gonna affix the beads. What do you think, shall we do it? Yes, we shall, we shall do it. Let's see how this goes. One more 
my thing. <laughs> so beads, they're a little harder to affix, but once you get them on there, these are just plastic beads. Already I see how this just got a little more fancified. So I'm not gonna glue all of them. I'm just gonna glue along as I go. And you're never done until you look at it and say, you know what, that's done. Whatever makes you happy to do it. I really enjoy doing this kind of stuff. So I've been fixing almost to the end here. And we'll pull back and see if we want to do more or if we're done. Let's find out. Okay. Just to give you a snip there. Okay. Save you for another time, Beads. Now look what we've got here. What do you think? Wow. That just got way fancier, didn't it? See? And I'm thinking, I think one more thing. This may sound crazy, but I found this old dragonfly and I thought, would that be pretty somewhere in this design? Or maybe not. What do you think, folks? I think he'd be pretty right there, actually. You're gonna be dragonflied. Goodbye, little jewel bead. I think this dragonfly came off of an old wind chime. Hold them on there and let them set. It's a fixed. Oh my goodness, I'm thinking now I'm done. I can still pull the cozy on and off. See? Do you want your old candle back? Pull the cozy off. When you get tired of spring, do something for summer. And I cannot wait for the holidays because I'm going to be making some cozies for these candles. And there you have it. It's fun. It's whimsical. You can make them for any decor. Let me show you some of the other ones. That's the biggest one. But some of these little ones are pretty. The LED is a little bit newer. They've got these flame candles now. And here again, it's beads, some of that ribbon and lace, the same color fabric I see in the felt. But look at here, old earrings. Here's another piece of ivory that I found in a jewelry box with some beads. So pretty. And then this was a pin. This was somebody's pen, not mine, uh, in an old jewelry box. Isn't that pretty? And when I get tired of them, I'll swap them out, turn it back into the old candle that it was. If you like what you've seen here today, give us a like, subscribe to our channel, and ring the bell so you know when a new episode is coming up. Until then, make a cozy of your own and swap out the decor to match the seasons and the way you're feeling. See you again.